What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So finally, today when it comes to watchOS 8.4, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a second point update of 8.4, which brings us to version 8.4.2. So that's the update that we have here today. And you can see that this update comes in exactly one week after the release of watchOS 8.4.1. So there seems to be a lot that's going wrong with watchOS 8.4 and so Apple has to keep on releasing these point updates to try and rectify the issues that are there with watchOS 8.4. Now for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you're seeing here you can see the update size that it comes in at exactly 81 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 8.4.1. Now a quick hint for you if you are having issues updating your device device to watch OS 8.4.1 or 8.4.2 rather a quick hint that I can give you is try and make this your update process so this is not all that Apple released today so if you have an iPhone and you want to update your Apple watch you might want to check first if there's an update on the iPhone and first of all update your iPhone and once your iPhone has been updated to the latest available ios version then you can proceed over and update your apple watch i do get a lot of dms or requests from people that are having issues when it comes to upgrading their devices so if you make that your pardon most of the times you know you'll be able to update without having any issues so like i mentioned this is also not all that apple released today i do tweet about most of the updates that came out so if we go on my twitter page you see some of the other updates that apple released today so today apple released mac os 12.2.1 with the bluetooth battery drain bug fix and they also released ios 15.3.1 and io ipad os 15.3.1 as well as watch os 8.4.2 of course since this is the video for this now if you want to keep up to date with most of these updates from apple and what's new or what's have, what has been updated with such updates then a sub to the channel will be appreciated as this is what i do most of the times and some new features and also new products here now in terms of what's new with this update i want to show you here the software changes first so if we go into the settings on my apple watch and go to general and go to software update i just want to show you that your watch or is up to date and on my iphone if we go to the watch app here and go to general and go to software update you'll be able to see that it's updated to watch os 8.4.2 so we are on the latest version and here if we go back and go to the about this watch section just to see the build number that came with this version so you can see the version is 8.4.2 and the build number that came with this update is 19s553 so that has been updated from the previous version that we had now in terms of new features and new changes that came with this update the first one that i would like to mention has to do with some bug fixes that came with this update now there were a lot of issues that had to do with the wallet app or basically apple pay whether you are using a credit card or the apple card there were a lot of issues basically in the wallet app and a lot of users were having like sometimes their cards would be missing from the wallet app or sometimes you know they would try and use the apple pay service and it wouldn't work now i'll be happy to let you know that at least at the time i'm recording this video it seems like this issue has been fixed when it comes to the wallet app uh, so so you might have to update your device to watchOS 8.4.2 and if that persists and you haven't updated your iPhone you might also want to go to your iPhone and perform a software update as also today Apple released iOS 15.3.1 so that issue has been resolved and it seems like now this is an issue of the past now according to Apple when they released this version of the Apple watch watchOS 
OS 8.4.2. The release notes mention that this introduces unspecified bug fixes and security updates for the Apple Watch. Now, some of the bugs that have been fixed with this update, the first one that I'd like to, you know, highlight for you has to do with hand washing. So thank you very much to the people that reported this bug and that experienced it and managed to get Apple to do something about it. It seems like, you know, for me, when I go to do my hand washing, it detects fast. Before that, on watchOS 8.4 and 8.1, there were issues where you would wash your hand and you wouldn't even get the countdown or the notification. So it seems like that has been fixed with this update. And also the second fix that came with this update has to do with the blood oxygen sensor or measurement. So you know that if you take your blood oxygen measurements, your Apple Watch basically sometimes does it without you even knowing when you are sleeping or doing some workout and sometimes if you want to export your data you can actually do that without you know having to use the apple watch you would have to go onto your iphone and go into your health app and you'll be able to see different metrics and also blood oxygen sensors now if you want to basically onboard that data that has to do with the blood oxygen sensor now you are able to do that without having any bugs or glitches on watchOS 8.4.2. On 8.4 and 8.4.1, there were issues with that, and now this has been resolved, which is good. And another fix that came with this update, I won't say the phrase because it might actually activate your device. So it has to do with Siri. And with Siri, there were basically issues whereby, you know, when you lower your risk like this and you raise it up. Uh, let me just do that again to see whether this works so you you raise up your risk and you bring it up close to your mouth if i bring it close to my mouth it will be out of frame but yeah if you lower your risk and you bring it up and you basically activate siri you sometimes were having issues with that brother there were a number of reports where siri wouldn't be able to recognize user voices and it wouldn't basically activate it was almost as if the siri on the apple watch was this uh, was like unactivated or something like that and the siri on the iphone would pick up instead of the apple watch so for me this I tested it about three times and it seems like Siri is responding when you bring Siri close to your mouth. So that is another fix that has been uh, here with this update. And basically the main issue of watchOS 8.4 and 8.4.1 had to do with the charging issue. Now this is basically you know the original apple pack charger and there were issues when it came to the previous watch os version where it wouldn't basically charge properly so the main reason of watch os 8.4 and 8.4.1 was to resolve this issue for certain apple watch series and also for like third part apple chargers and this is an apple pack charger and fortunately i never got to experience that charging issue and and on watchOS 8.4.1, there were issues where people were sort of reporting that, you know, their devices were still not charging even though they updated to watchOS 8.4.1. So hopefully if you're experiencing such issues on your Apple Watch, those get resolved pretty soon. Now, there's also another change that is going to be coming pretty soon and I believe it will affect the Apple Watch too since on the Apple Watch we have this items um, items section here. So, you can see that, you know, if you have an air tag, you can find it in this items um application it's called find applic find items rather and when it comes to this app it will help you you know use your air tags better and you can see i have a registered air tag in there that's called tea bag that's my tech bag so i keep everything in there and i track the bag so basically when it comes to the air tags there have been problems that have been reported with this uh, air tag issue and today you can see that this is an article that came out today it says 
an update on air tags and unwanted tracking so it goes on to explain about air tags and so on i read through everything and it basically says apple is going to be working with law enforcement to help you know tackle those people that are using air tags illegally to try and track individuals which is unwanted tracking and shouldn't and shouldn't be done and i highly discourage it so basically here you can see that apple goes on to mention that advanced advancements coming to air tags and find my network so you can see that the find my network which is a whole apple ecosystem network is going to receive some upcoming changes in the future and if you use your apple watch and you have some paired devices like air tags and so on you might you know see some updates in the future whereby you know air tag changes or, or application updates might come to the apple watch so this will hopefully help apple be able to tackle this issue of unwanted tracking and stalking when it comes to the air tag so that's something that's good another final thing that i wanted to highlight for you here when it comes to this update since apple mentioned that it's uh, an update that has to do with bugs and uh, security if we go to the apple security update so you can see this is the apple security update and you see that you know some of the other updates that were released today as well as safari 15.3 also released some security updates you hear you can see that we have watchOS 8.4.2 which is the version that i have here on my apple watch so it says that this update has no published cve entries so you can see that it has no common vulnerabilities and exposure entries or basically uh, security update so it's more of a bug fix update instead of you know a security update there might be security updates in the background but we're not publicly disclosed or specified by apple and you can see that this is supported from the apple watch series 3 and later unlike the other updates that we saw where the apple watch series 3 was skipped so all these security updates for various updates came out today and if you have these devices you can always up update to them now i want to show you something here on my apple watch so this is the second point update of watchOS 8.4 so this basically if you go here you see 8.4.1 but on this apple watch series 7 i want to show you that you know we have a better update that's going to introduce some new features and new changes rather so if you go into the settings go to general and go to about you basically be able to see that here i'm on 8.5 and 8.5 you know which i have on my apple watch series 7 that you are seeing here is a bit better in a sense that it introduces some new features and new changes that aren't here and some of those changes that i really wanted to see being introduced with 8.4.2 if we go into the messages app basically and we go to where it says tech hyped you can see some new memojis and basically if we we're to go to the same messages app here go to the messages and go to tech hype you see the new memojis how they show on watchOS 8.5 but on 8.4.2 these ones don't show here so these are some of the changes that are going to be coming when watchOS 8.5 comes out and in terms of the release date of watchOS 8.5 I highly uh, you know think that Apple is going to release this update sometime at the end of uh, March or early April so that's the update if you got it then you got it if you don't got it then forget about it peace